Um, I actually don't remember the first time I saw Craig. He, re he remembers seeing me the first time I went into uh, our job together. The manager had brought this girl in to interview for a server and I saw her from across the restaurant. I never even spoke to her and I was like, who is this girl? What's she doing? Is she gonna work here? And after he walked away from the interview, I, would, I remember it was Glenn. I said, Glenn, who is that? And he said, I don't know, some girl named Michelle. And I said, you're going to hire her, right? And he said, well, why? Because I want to meet her, that's why. And he laughed, and she got hired. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. And I say, it's all right. My first impression of Michelle was that she's absolutely insane. Um, but in a fun way. Because... Every day at work was always a new challenge and always new ridiculousness, and it was always fun. Um, I remember when I met him, I wasn't looking or interested in him in any way, and it was just kind of like, ooh, there's some cute guys that work here. My first memory was when she asked me what I was getting my girlfriend for Valentine's Day. and. I wasn't really happy with who I was with, so I said nothing. And I told him that he was a horrible boyfriend. <laughs> and that was probably the first of many a times when I told him I would never date him. <laughs> but fast forward to a year later when Michelle and I were actually dating, and to prove to her that I'm not a terrible boyfriend, um, I decided that it would be a good idea to take her to the city because she loves theater so much. And I took her to see Rock of Ages, which is the most fun show ever. It's all right. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. With Craig, it was different from the beginning because, I don't know, we enjoyed spending time together. We enjoyed everything we did together. And from the beginning, I could tell there was something different about him. No matter what aspect of my life he was a part of, I just knew he had to be a part of my life in some way. And I think that's what was different. Every day with her is, is always, you know, it's silly in, in a childish look at, the new, look at the world in a new set of eyes type of way. And it doesn't matter what's going on, something about it is always fun or, or can be made fun of and it, it always makes the day go by easier. The pace of our relationship went from zero to about a hundred very quickly. We were friends and then we realized there was something more between us. Basically, Craig helped me move into my apartment one night and told me I'm only gonna stay here a couple nights during the week, you know, I don't wanna get into that kind of habit, whatever. I said, no, I'm not gonna stay here all the time. I'm gonna go home. We're just gonna see each other a couple of days a week. And I spent the one night one there and pretty much never left. <laughs> a couple weeks later, his mother called and said, are you ever coming home? And we went there, we picked up some clothes and Craig and I were officially living together. <laughs> I think what's different about this relationship is that we genuinely love to be around each other. I think because we're such good friends that we joke around a lot, we like spending time together. In the beginning we spent all of our time together. We lived together, we worked together, we did everything outside of the house together, grocery shopping or whatever. Um, it got to the point where I don't think we had other human contact for like weeks on end. You know, it doesn't matter what we're doing, we're always having fun with each other and we're friends first, which is a big deal.
I didn't decide to propose. Um, Craig's dad had planned a trip that they were all going to be going to Mexico for Christmas and then I was invited to go along with them. Uh, right before our trip, people who know me know that you can't surprise me. I, I always imagine what I would do for people and then think about it the other way around so it's really hard for people to surprise me on something. Um, before we left, he told me to bring a fancy outfit because he wanted to take me out to dinner. He was a little, like, harsh about it, like, not harsh, but like strongly wording, like, make sure, make sure you bring something. I wanted to take her out to a nice dinner, just the two of us. And I talked with my family, I had it all planned out, we went out to the marina, we had this really nice dinner, she was all dressed up, we had this really nice dessert, and she's giving me these googly eyes, like she knows what's up. So at this point, in my head, I'm thinking, we're in Mexico, we're going out to a nice dinner, I'm getting engaged, we're getting married, oh my god, I did my hair, I did my makeup, I got all dressed up. I'm like, picturing what's gonna happen in my mind. We're at dinner and I'm waiting for like, music to start, because I was always convinced that he was gonna do like a flash mob or something. So we're eating dinner and music is coming from the other side of the restaurant and I'm looking around and I'm like wondering what's happening, what's going on. And um, he's just over the top romantic, like totally just milking me for everything. And then he tells me that he wants to, after dinner, you don't want to take a nice romantic walk on the beach. I'm like, okay. I'm like, oh my God, it's not going to happen at dinner. It's going to happen on the beach. And you know, after we finish dinner, she says, well, you know, the beach is right over there. It's a really nice night. Do you want to maybe take a walk? Maybe, you know, under the stars? And I said, why don't we just go to, go to the cantina? There's happy hour. It's half price margaritas. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, how are you, I don't want to be proposed to at a bar. Like, what are you doing? No, we're supposed to, you're supposed to do it under the moonlight. Glossy eyes go away immediately. She says, what? I'm really confused, don't know what's going on, and we just end up going to have a drink, come back home, he goes to bed. And we get back to the hotel, and I fall asleep, and she stays up with my stepsister, and she said, so am I the only one who thought he was gonna propose tonight? Totally faked her out, which was the perfect plan. What just happened? And I can't contact anyone at home, like, we don't have phone service, so his stepsister and I are stayed up and we're playing cards and I say something to her like, did you think I was gonna get proposed to tonight? And they love that story now, but they're like, God, no, no, we, didn't, we had no idea. And Michelle tried to like play it off like nothing was happening. So the next day, everyone took the ferry over to Cozumel to do the touristy shop thing and we stayed on the beach hanging out, just the two of us. And I had the ring with me, and I knew I wanted to propose on the beach, but I didn't know how I wanted to do it, because I had planned so well up to that point that I didn't think about how I was going to do it. We go to the beach. His dad, his mom and his sister, they went off for the day, and we're just sitting on the beach, and I was out snorkeling. And so I see her snorkeling and I'm thinking, hey, this would be a really great idea. I can go out in the, in the surf and I can put it down in the sand and I can say, hey, I found something really shiny. Maybe you should take a look at it. And then I remembered that I didn't ensure the ring yet. <laughs> so I couldn't do that. I, I couldn't let go of it because the last thing that I wanted was, oh yeah, your ring's in there somewhere. Go find it. I come back from the beach and I am trying to change. I have my bathing suit on, I'm trying to put my clothes back on without people seeing me on the beach. And I guess, inadvertently, when I did that, something fell out of the bag. That was a ring box. I had no idea, I didn't even see it. So she gets back up on the beach after she goes snorkeling. And I had it in the bag that we were sharing. And she reaches in to grab a change of clothes and the ring pops out in the sand. And I thought that she was onto it. I, I thought that she just threw it out there and wanted to see what I would do. So I'm like, well, you've already seen it. You might as well open it. I look over and I see this ring box and I'm like, what's that? 
He said, well, we'll open it. I'm like, I'm not opening it. And I was so scared it was gonna be a pair of earrings or something. I'm like, no, I already built myself up last night. I'm not opening this box. I made him open it. I had to bite the bullet and I had to say, will you spend the rest of your life with me? And she said, you can't be doing this right now. I'm in the middle of changing on the beach around a million people. So um, it was sweet. It was totally out of the blue. I was not expecting it one bit. I was beyond, beyond, beyond shocked, which is like the best thing for me because I hate knowing things ahead of time, even though I try and figure them out. Um, and then we went and had a margarita on the beach. I look forward to building a life together. Um, I look forward to having a partner who I can depend on and who is similar to me yet different, especially when it comes to like parenting and just life. I think that the one thing that I most look forward to is having brand new experiences with her. You know, we talk about how we want to travel, we want to try new things. We're always looking for new fun adventures, whether it's whitewater rafting or going to a paint night or going skydiving or going zip lining in the Poconos. It's, we like to do fun things. We like to go outside, have new experiences together and every day is a new day. In 25 years, I can only imagine that we are happier than we are on September 13th when we say I do. Um, I would like to believe that we have few kids. I like to say four, he says two, so hopefully somewhere in the middle. In 25 years, I hope that our relationship is pretty much the same as it is today that we enjoy spending time together, that we go out and we have fun little adventures together, and that we're still best friends. I love you, Craig. I love you, Michelle.